Welcome back to Skyrim Mods, my name is Ricky and this is Grace. Yes, Grace does look different than the last time we saw her and I will explain what she's gotten up to since then. But today, we are going to get started in Helgen Reborn, which is the third most popular quest mod on the Nexus. I w I've been told to come here to um, Whiterun because someone here needs to talk to me, I guess about Helgen. So, Drunken Huntsman it is. I have a nine. I can't believe it's you. Hello. I was just asking around if anyone knew where I might find you. Um, why are you looking for me? My master and I recently arrived here in Skyrim from Cyrodon. It's been a long journey, but he sent me to see if I could find you. Why? I thought I'd check the tavern and in here in Whiterun first, and then set out for the... Again! Tomorrow. Why? But fortunately, the gods favor me today, as you seem to have found me instead. He's heard of you, escaped from that awful dragon attack, and urgently needs to speak with you. I know nothing more than that. Okay. It's at the inn in Falkreath. Would you please meet him at your earliest convenience? He only wishes to talk I don't yeah, think I've even been to Falkreath. And a small token of his appreciation. Now then, I bid you good day as I have another errand to run. No rest for the weary, as they say. Good day. Alright, fine. Let's read the letter. Ah, 250 gold. I'm sure my 200, my 20 grand is nothing. What am I doing? Reading a letter. Dear friend, after I got word of your survival from the terrible dragon attack in Helgen, I came to Skyrim as fast as I could. I've sent my trusty messenger Patsy in the hope that he will be able to find you and give you this letter. You are one of the only survivors and you may have explicit knowledge that is vital to me. I would very much like to discuss the events of that day with you. These are truly desperate times and I hope you will accept a small gift of gold as a token of my appreciation. Would you meet with me in Dead Man's Drink in Falkreath? Sincerely, Marcus Janus. Alright, Falkreath. See, haven't been to Falkreath at all. I got the Deep, Brittlesham Pass, Guardian Stones, Helgen, which I kind of want to avoid right now just in case it screws with anything. So we'll go up with here. Yeah. Since the last time uh, we played the game, um, Grace completed the College One whole quest line. You know, she, she was interested in being a mage, so she went up there and helped them out and then became the leader of it. Hello, other standing stone, the lady stone. This is the one that gives you, uh, there's another lady, hell, okay, no. Um, I just tried to vats. I've been playing Fallout too much. Play a matronach. Kill the, I'm guessing, fish. Okay, maybe don't kill the fish. Fine, whatever. Um, so, after she did that, she went to Riften and discovered they were having this, like, thief issue. And then, she discovered that thieves weren't so bad. I mean, she was already quite stealthy. And, you know, she could get her Robin Hood on. I mean, not that she knows what Robin Hood is, but... Come on, Flame Atronach. Alright, fine. Hang out over there. I kind of want to play around with some illusion magic. She got really interested in illusion magic while she was working with the, uh... Ah! Skeever. See, this is the kind of thing... This is the kind of thing... That uh, I would really have liked to have had. A flame atronach who could have taken, that care for, taken care of that for me. Like these skeletons. Day. Fight my battles for me, flamey. Exactly. And so she joined it with the Thieves Guild. We're not all the way done with the Thieves Guild. It's important to remember that you may you may not remember this, but Grace is a snow elf. And there's a bit at the end of the Thieves Guild quest line. I know this, she doesn't, where we go after the Eye of the Falmer. Or the Eyes of the Falmer. And in that, um, Kinda gotta go past a bunch of Falmer, and she does not like killing Falmer. She will if she has to, but it's her, 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 um, her want is to avoid that. Just because, you know, if they can be saved, she doesn't want to kill them. But they are also twisted. They are also broken. They are, well, they're blind, but that really has nothing to do with this. Um, so they may not necessarily recognize that she is one of them, essentially. Uh, and so that's going to lead to an interesting storytelling moment. I might actually even do it on the channel. 
It won't be a mod, but it might be a fun storytelling moment. All right, here we are, Dead Man's Drink. Okay, hello, Marcus. Dragon. I always heard the legends in my childhood, but I always thought they were fairy tales. But they're true. Yes, true. You, Marcus. Oh, bless the divines, you came. Well met and welcome. We have much to discuss. Will you tell me what happened at Helgen? Uh, dragon destroyed town. Bringer of the end world, that sort of thing. Uh, you already know Helgen was attacked by a dragon. Have you seen one? Well, no, now that you mention it. Yeah, I've killed a few. Doubt any civilians made it out of there alive. The place was laid to waste. Well, I mean, that boy did. Once it's as I feared. My brother and his family are lost. God damn it all. I'd hoped for better news. Uh huh. Even if it did survive the dragon attack, the bandits killed them for sure. Wow, I am just being really dark today. Yes, I've heard the fort is full of them. Appearances can also be deceiving. What? If I'm right, these are no bandits at all. What? I have it on good authority. There is a man known only as Bao inside the camp. Been there multiple times. Never seen that before. So he's the leader of a small group of mercenaries, for lack of a better term. Their aim is to kill Thalmor wherever they're found. Okay. That they've come out of hiding is beyond mysterious. Well, I'm okay with them wanting to kill Thalmor. Uh, resistance movement, if you. Although sometimes people think I'm a Thalmor, so. Uh, insurrection. Well, technically, I guess they think that Grace is a, a high elf, not specifically a Thalmor, but. Insurrectionists, and you know this man? His name is Valerius Tiberius Artoria. Hey! We served for many years together in the Imperial Legion as captains under Titus Mead II during the Great War. That's a common name there, isn't it? People really like naming them after Septum, huh? Ooh. That's bad. Uh, what does this have to do with me? I need you to go try and talk to Valerius. Reason with him. Tell him Marcus Janus requests a meeting with him. Okay. Tell him I'll come to the fort alone. Present company excluded. Of course. Sure, because I got to be there to tell him. Give this ring to him. It was his wife's wedding. Why do you have that? If any of his men try to accost you, show it to them and tell them it is a gesture of goodwill from me. So don't kill them? They'll give you quarter if they know I sent you. Approach the guards and show them the ring. Okay. Tell them Marcus Janus sent you to see Valerius. Yeah, you... I got this already, already buddy. On Come on. Urgent business. Show them this note with my seal, but tell them it's for Valerius. Okay. Eyes only. Got it. Please, return to me as soon as you can. I'll prepare to leave and be ready to go when you return. Make haste, young one. And may fortune favor the foolish. Does his voice dialogue change if you're not young? Because you can play an old Dragonborn if you want. Grace is young, but now we're going to Helgen, which is up this way. But I'm not going to fast travel there. I'm going to walk there. Because why not? Where's the way out of town? Here it is. <laughs> Falkreath, one of the least visited. No, I did not. No, some wolves, but no dog. Okay, no, I don't. I'm not doing that quest. I told you I haven't been here, and that's a Daedric quest, and I'm not doing it. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. Yeah, there's a dog up here. I'm not going to interact with said dog. Maybe I should have fast traveled. Anyway, so... The reason Grace is wearing this thieves gear is because she got it from them, but she's not wearing your traditional thieves gear. That was the gear they gave her, but she was like, I don't want this crap. It's brown and ugly and has sleeves. Grace doesn't like sleeves that much. So, she managed to stumble across some some of this more gray gear. Um, see, doesn't like sleeves. So she, she stumbled across some of this gear, and of course it was all unenchanted. Merry Christmas! No. Merry Christmas! Fine. Also... My bow! Say goodnight! And... I don't know why I have iron arrows equipped. 
but I do. There we go. All right. Come on, Flamey. Um, or just hang around back there. That's fine. Yeah. Anyway, so um, as you may recall from our previous bear, from our previous game, our previous uh, mod, which was the Forgotten City, um, Grace comes from a small... Flamey! Anyway, so she found some of these gray clothes, and then she took them to... to near her... What's a milk drinker like? Yeah, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, she took... She took her clothes over back to this other place, back to her home, but not actually all the way back to her home, because she's not, like... Super duper welcome there when she left. Like, they didn't banish her or anything, but yeah. So, but a friend of hers who enchants clothing there, enchants armor there, took her armor and enchanted it the same way the other armor was enchanted. So, we'll just show that real fast. That's weapon. So, she has magic that regenerates 100% faster, wears muffled and moves silently, lockpicking, and bows. And that was the same stuff her old clothes were. Um... Enchanted to her old her her snow elf armors enchanted to and maybe you know what maybe we'll go back to the snow elf stuff I may get bored of the thief stuff. We'll go back to the snow elf stuff to be honest with you I mean, I like this better, but I I like the thieves gear the thieves Guild armor. I like it all the best in terms of like the way it looks, but it's actively not the best here. We are Helgen I can't go through that door, so let's go around. So it's true. You're Dragonborn. Yes, I think you're who I'm supposed to talk to, but I wouldn't have ever believed it. Mm -hmm. Be well, friend. Okay, maybe I need to equip the ring. Yes. Did you need something? Archmage. Be well. I think I broke the quest. There we go. Don't even think about it. You see my friends coming. They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. Okay. Now, who are you? And what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. Uh, I come in peace. I have an urgent matter that I need to discuss with Valerius. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You are mistaken. Well, that's not There's true, and I know that for a fact. Here. No, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. I have an urgent message from Marcus. Don't know him either. I'm beginning. Look, to if you attack me, I will kill you. I will kill you where you stand. Now. We just had a conversation about me being Dragonborn. Come on, I know who you are, and you're no bandit. I don't know who you are, straight. Again, I got this ring I'm wearing. But I advise you to choose your words very carefully. No. Here, I have a gift from Marcus. It's Val's wife's wedding ring. Let me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus? I did. The war, Marcus Janus. Yeah, that Why Marcus. So? I don't know what other Marcus Janus's you know, but uh, I got a letter for him or Very from him. Well. I will take you inside. Cool. But all of us have our I could kill you all where you stand. You Your armor trouble. won't save you from my Last blade trouble. or bow. Or magic flaming demon from oblivion. I'll even I'll even put away my magic. I don't know who you are or why you're here, so you'd better have some good answers to my question. Nope. May I see that ring? Nope. Oh, I have to say yes. So you were sent by Marcus Janus. Where is he now? No, uh, Falkreath. Do you know how he came into possession of this ring? Nope. Uh, he must have found it in the Imperial City after you were imprisoned. I like my nope better. Yes, yes, he didn't tell us. And I didn't read the note to you. This is all so overwhelming. Let's see this letter you brought. Mm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, it's certainly you, all right. What do you want with me? 
tell me? How has he found me here? No idea. He heard a... Well, he heard you were here. I... Uh, this is a... Uh, Very clever, uh, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about who we've become. Living our lives in the shadows. Hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of cheese. Go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. Okay. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. We never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please leave me in peace. I talked to Val. Excellent. Well done, my friend. At some point we should I'm ready to go. But there's just one thing. I'm getting too old for fighting. At least by myself, really that is. Sure. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me. To There's the nothing place. between here and there. There's I took care of two bandits that were. Uh, stick close to me and let's right go. You, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. Again, what if you're playing an old dragonborn? Am I going too fast? No, you just got stuck. Did you just get stuck on the bard? Yeah, that's understandable. So that was the beginning of Helgen Reborn. Next time, we will take this guy uh, back to Helgen, so that way he can meet with his old war buddy. And I don't really sure what happens after that. This has been Skyrim Mods. Thank you for watching. Come back soon for more Skyrim.